hello hello my crafty friends welcome welcome to my channel beautiful creations by mary and i'm mary today we are going to make this beautiful craft right here it's a wine cork and with a succulent plant inside so i'm gonna take let's take a look isn't that pretty and it has a magnet in the back and you put it on your fridge okay so i'm going to tell you all the materials that you need for this beautiful um pot you can say <laughs> okay let's put this over here all righty all right the first thing we need let's see all right you need the wine cork I like these, but if you don't have these, you can get some of these. But I like these better because it's more fatter. So I'm gonna use these today. But if you don't have it, you can get some of these, okay? So you need that. And you need dirt. Okay, uh, of course you need a little bit of water, not much, and, oops, sorry, for shaking the camera, you need some glue maybe, just in case, um, we need, okay, we need some magnets, I got these from the Dollar Tree, and some of these jewels and I think there's like 55 pieces in it I also got this from the Dollar Tree and you also need some stars got them from the Dollar Tree okay and you need some of uh, the pop dot adhesives Got these from the Dollar Tree. Okay. Put these to the side. Put these to the side. Okay, what else do we need? We need one of these. And if you don't have these, uh, you can get a paper plate or anything that you can put your paints in. We also need some um, paint brushes. Any kind of paint brush will do. Nothing fancy. Just any kind of paint brushes. Okay. Maybe like three of them, okay? Need that. And we need some, some acrylic paints. I'm gonna use uh, yellow and uh, I was gonna use the red one, but nah. I'm gonna use the green and the white and the yellow. You can get these paints at any craft store um michael's or joanne's any craft store that's near you so there's that you can use you can choose any colors you want okay so that's that and you would also need my and um the glossy one because we're gonna gloss it up after we're done painting um and some glitter you can probably also get this at your your craft store okay mm, let me see what else do we need uh, of course we also need mm, let me see where is it at mm, hold on a second I'm looking for it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> we need the succulent plant. Okay. You can get this at the... I got this at um, Lowe's. See? It's one of these. Okay. And then in the back, it gives you the instructions on what, how to take care of it. Okay. I think this cost me probably like two dollars 
in the garden area. Okay, you need one of these. Put that to the side. And some newspaper so you, you don't get your table dirty. Um, one of these babies. If you don't have it, you probably can... This is a drill bit. Um, see? I got this from Amazon. It's like a uh, craft drill bit. A oh, rotator drill tool. If you don't have this, um, you can use some... Um, let me see. Uh, how do you one of these? But you have to be careful. It's very sharp. Or you can use a, a knife, one of these pocket knives. Let's see, I'm trying to see how this works. A pocket knife. One of those. Any any kind of pocket knife. It's to make the the hole on top. Because we need to make a hole on top. Okay. And let me see what else do we need. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Alright. So. All the materials that I showed you, I'm going to put it in the description box below. Okay. And some of this ma these materials, I got it from Lancaster create a reuse I'm also gonna put this information in the description box below if you live in Lancaster PA um, this is a craft store where people donate um, their leftover crafts and um, you can get your crafts um, supplies here at a low price okay this is a nonprofit organization and they donate um, their their funds to charity okay so I'll also put this in the description box below okay alrighty so I want to also mention um, we are doing my niece and me we are doing a um, uh, we are crocheting hats for the kids in need of Pennsylvania Okay, if you want to also um, help us to do this, you can crochet the hats or knit the hats any size from baby to kid size. Okay, um, put them in different bags. Okay, and mark them the sizes of each um, hat. And um, I'll put the address, my peel box. In the description box below so you can send them okay and if you don't know how to crochet or knit you can send the yarn and we'll crochet the hats okay and if you want us to mention your name in the the video when we um, show the hats or the yarn um, let us know in a letter and we'll mention your name okay and if you don't want us to mention your name um, let us know also okay so I think that's about it. So let's get started on this craft. You're gonna love it. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is get the wine cork. We're gonna drill a hole in this here middle spot right there. So we need to get our handy dandy drill here. Okay, this drill. Hold on, let me put you guys a little bit out. You guys are like really. Here we go. Much better. Here we go. So we need this, and I think I already took out the pieces that we needed. We need that one. This one. Let me see. That one. Oh, here's the other one. And that one. Okay. Oh, we also need the plug. That. And we need the 
battery. Hopefully that. Yeah, it's still good. All right, we're gonna make the hole. Okay. Plug this baby in. In here. Ugh, where is it at? I can't even see. Okay, here we go. There we go. We're gonna use the small one first, okay? So, get this baby out. I'm new at this, so I have to play with it to figure it out. Okay, get this baby out. And we need the small one. Put it there. Put this here. And then put this, this here. Hold on. I don't know why they tell me to do it that way. I like to do it this way. So I can see what I'm doing. And then put this drill bit thing here. Okay. I think it's not. Yep, it's secured. So, let me put my sleeves up. I don't want nothing to get tangled in there. All right, we're going to drill a couple holes in here, okay, just to loosen up this um, area. All right, and you're going to probably hear a noise, so I'm sorry for the noise. So I'm going to show you what to do. All right, a couple holes. There's one. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> Guess what? I forgot. I forgot to put the newspaper down. I don't want my table to get messy. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Blooper. All right, here we go. Okay, that's one. This is just to loosen it up. Here's an, like another one. Just make like a couple of them. One in the middle. Oh, it hurts my teeth. <laughs> see? I don't know if you can see it. Like another one. Right there. All right. Make a couple of them. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna get. Oh wait, we're missing one. Mm. Hold on a second. I need the other one though. Is it? Look, this thing comes with a lot of a lot of them. Yeah, I think it's this one. Is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one. All right. So let's switch this one out. Take this one out. I must take the whole thing out and then put this one in and put this one in put this back there we go I love this tool this is my first time using it my first time always make sure you check it that it's in there this is very very handy and it's not just for this, all sorts of stuff. Okay, now, what we're going to do is we're going to go in there and work at it and make this, all these holes bigger, okay? So here we go. You 
see how I'm doing it. I'm opening them up. I know it makes noise, but I can't help it. Oh, it got stuck. See, you get the point, right? I'm going to keep making all this. I'm going to pause it and keep working at it because I don't want you guys to hear that noise. So I'm going to keep working at it and I'm going to take go all the way around until I get a nice big hole, okay? And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now that we have the hole, I say it might be like an inch. I don't know if you can see it. Looks like an inch to me. I eyeballed it. We're gonna switch the bit, the drill bit. Okay. All right, because we're gonna um, smooth it out. All right, put this one in, and then this one. All right. Just to make it look a little bit decent. See, it's like lumpy. I'm going to try to get that out a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to smooth it out with this. Let's do this real quick. You can see it. as I could with this now we are going to switch this one with this one okay because we're gonna smooth it out right here we go this one's gonna it's gonna make a lot of noise so Hold on to your ears. Well done. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. Now that we're done with that. See? Can you see it? My hand's all dusty. Nice deep hole. Okay. Get that dust off. I use one of these. Take all the dust out. Take the dust out. Okay. Oh, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to shake you. Baby, go on. Put these drill bits over here. All right, let me see. 
I need a small one and one of these. Let's see which one. Okay, this one. Alright, I'm gonna get the yellow one. Um, yellow. Because I'm gonna um I'm gonna um take the yellow, the white and make the green one a little bit lighter. Hold on a second, this thing oh my goodness. It's like I need to get a new one. There we go. A little bit sloppy, but <laughs> the green one. Alrighty. Green one. There we go. Alright, now let's take. I guess we can do. I guess we can do the green one first. So, what we're going to do is take some of this white, put it over here. Okay, and then take some of this green, put it over here, and we're gonna mix it with the white. We're gonna make the um, the green a little bit lighter. Okay, and here we go. See, just mix it, mix it, mix it. See how it's getting lighter? That's what I'm looking for. Make it look lighter. There we go. That's what I need. Okay. Now we're going to get going with this painting. Okay, we're going to paint the bottom part green, and then the top part we're going to paint yellow. All right? And you might need a couple coats. Let's see how this goes. All right? Just go like that. Don't have to be perfect, you know. Like that. See how pretty it is. It's nice, pretty, pretty green. Make sure you get all the cracks. There we go, see? I don't know, I don't think we need an, another coat. It looks pretty good, right? What do you think? These acrylic paints are, they're, look, they're pretty good. Alright, I had these acrylic, acrylic paints for a long time. I got them from AC Moore's, but AC Moore's not there no more. So, you can get them from Michael's or Joann's or even from Amazon. Amazon have stuff. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's done. If you want, you can paint the bottom up. There we go. Okay, that one's done. Now let's paint the top. I shouldn't have painted the bottom. <laughs> I'm going to get my fingers dirty. Oh, well. Wasn't thinking there. Okay. There we go. The yellow, it might need two coats. What do you think? I don't know. There we go. Is it blurry? There we go. Or maybe I'm going too fast. Okay, let's twist it. Hold on, so you can see. 
This camera goes crazy. There we go. Try to get all the cracks. Flip it. Yeah, I shouldn't have painted the bottom part because my hand, my fingers are dirty now. What was I thinking, huh? What was I thinking? Oh, well. Okay. Here you go. You might hear my animals. I have two cats and, uh... Two dogs, ferret and rat. So you might hear some kind of noise, and you might hear my neighbor's dog because I think they stepped out and he's howling. So you might hear some kind of noise, and I'm sorry about that. Yeah. So I think I got all of it. Yeah. Oops, sorry. <laughs> out of the camera all right that's all done so let's let that dry right there okay let's get this out Ugh. oh we should do the top right what do you think You don't need to do the inside because that's where the the plant's gonna go. Yeah. All right. That's all done. Let's let that dry. Okay. While that's drying, we can do the other stuff. Look at my hands. <laughs> You're not a craft person a craft yeah craft person <laughs> you don't get your or an artist if you don't get your hands dirty all right let's see what else we gotta do here uh, might as well get the plant out right get it ready okay where's the here it is where's it at like this they make it impossible right like the entrance i don't want to hurt the plant Oh my goodness, where is it? Always having trouble. Where is the entrance? Here it is. Get this ready. Come on out, honey. Come on out. Isn't she pretty? Oh. And these are the kind that you don't water it so much and they don't die on you. If you don't got that green thumb, you know how it goes. Let's just leave her right there. And we have to wait till this dries. So let's get all the other stuff ready. So I'm gonna decorate with the hearts and the, the stars. Let's get these things ready. Okay. I think I'm gonna put this one heart in the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna put one, okay. One, we don't need all of it. And I'm gonna put um, probably one, two, three, four stars on top. So let's get four out. Oops, sorry. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Isn't this so pretty? I'm gonna show you. Look how pretty it is. So cute. <laughs> you can find all sorts of things at the Dollar Tree. Believe me. Okay, and we're gonna put for the heart, we're gonna put one on each side for the heart. Like that. Okay? Just like that. Okay, alrighty, I'm gonna get the magnets ready. We need two magnets from this. So 
So let's get two of them out. Oh, they're really like, stuck on there. Oh, okay, two, two magnets. Got them ready. All right, let's see if this baby is dry. No, it's still wet. Mm hmm All right. I'll be right back because I got to get this baby dried. Give me a few minutes. Okay, I am back. Now, what I did, I just used the blow dryer. <laughs> so now it's dry. So now we're going to glue all these cute little gemstones on it, okay? We're going to use this... Uh, Tacky glue from the Dollar Tree. Nothing fancy. Okay. Let's glue this heart. Oops, where did it go? Let's glue this baby on there. Let's get, get this glue going. <clears throat> okay. There's that. Oh, it's stuck to my finger. Oh my goodness, it's so hard because this is like real small. Put it right there. There you go. And don't worry, all that glue will dry clear. Isn't that cute? Press hard on it there. Okay, now we're gonna glue the little two stars on the side. All right. Little dot of glue. <laughs> it doesn't want to come out. Little dot of glue. Come on. There we go. Ugh, stuck to my finger. This is a messy process. Right there. See? And then we get the other one. Okay. Get the other one. Right there. What's like stays it's so small. Hold on. Can I get it? Alright, hold on. There we go. We don't need much. Put it right there. See? Isn't that cute? So adorable. Alright, the next thing we can do now is, uh, let's see, you know what I'm thinking of doing? Hold on. I just got an idea. That's what it's all about, right? I'm going to put this uh, permanent black Sharpie. I'm going to make a line right here. Right there. I'm just going to like. Color it in a little bit, make it nice and thick. And keep going. Can you see what I'm doing? Can you see? Trying to make it straight. Okay. That's what it's all about, you know? You're crafting and all of a sudden you get this idea, your light bulb <laughs> turns on and you be like, oh, I'm going to do this. I do it all the time. There we go. See? You keep going all the way around. All the way around. Keep going. It makes it look, I don't know. It makes it look better. Like with an outline. It's not perfect. But it's mine. You know? It's going to go on my fridge. Okay. Almost done. Can you see it? Not even 
if you want you can try to make it perfect if you got OCD and you want to make it perfect go right ahead but me I don't care there we go Okay, that's good enough, right? Oops, darn it. I messed up right there. Oh well. Go over it there. Okay. I'm getting real sloppy here. Put that away. Let me fix that heart because I kept messing with it. And I forgot it. it's still wet. Okay, now. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to kick it the camera there we're gonna put all these little other ones little heart I mean hearts um, these stars all up here okay so let's glue these babies in there okay just needs a little dot there one here Then another one. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's like at the end. And there. Keep going. Straighten it out, kind of crooked. Right there. Get one more. Last one. So it stays still. Right there. And here. Now let's look at this. Make sure it's even. it up a little bit I guess it looks okay we think it'll all that mess that you see it'll dry you won't even see it there that's done mm -hmm. looks good to me all right now let's put the magnets all right Hope I can do this right. I'm gonna put this. And if this doesn't work, we'll glue it. These are um little adhesive cubes. Just need two. All right. Did I take it off? I guess I did. And don't take off the the the, the sticker until you're ready. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's take it off. Okay, make sure I'm gonna put it exactly. Where it goes right here. Push it in. Okay. Oops. I keep hitting that. <laughs> I keep touching it. Alright, let's do the other one. Alright. Fill it. Put it in the middle. 
that's it now peel the top layer okay don't touch it right there it's hard on it give it a few seconds okay see all right see a little bit messy but you're not gonna see all that all that gook all right now the next thing we're going to do which you're gonna enjoy all right we're going to decoupage all around the um the area okay and then we're gonna put glitter okay all right some a little bit here okay remember it's this one see gloss it's that one okay what did I do with the brush brush and we're going to gently Get some of this and go all around the areas okay all around I should have used this uh, skinnier brush but it's okay all around every nook and cranny even here through here okay here right here every little spot that you can get okay some more get through here through here up in here through here okay. sorry that this is a long video but it's a long process okay through there there we go Okay. Did I miss a spot? Yep, right here. Here. Okay. This area right here. Sure you get every every nook and cranny. See that focusing? So sensitive, my goodness. Okay, I think that's good enough. All right, now that we got all the areas, put that down. Get this out of the way. All right, oh, let's close this. You want that to dry. All right, let me think. Oh, the glitter. And what you're gonna do is just gonna put some in your hand, okay? Like that. I'm gonna take a pinch and you're just gonna sprinkle it, okay? Like that, see? You sprinkle it. Okay. You just take it and you sprinkle it. 
take it to the other side and sprinkle it. That's all you gotta do. I think I put too much right there. Oh well. Sprinkle it. That's good enough. You need extra. Open up your jar and put the rest away. All right. I got glitter everywhere. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> I dropped it. I'm just shaking some of it off. Now, let's look at it. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> look at it shine. All that gook stuff, you're not going to see it. When it dries, It's gonna. all that's going to dry clear. It looks sloppy, but... <laughs> gonna dry clear okay all right now let's put the, the succulent plant in there okay <laughs> all right let's put her in there you're gonna hold her in and here's the dirt all right put some of that dirt in there and you're holding her in and you're putting some of that dirt in there all the way around. It's gonna get messy, so be prepared. All right, you just put dirt all the way around in there and just pushing it in. You can even get something like to push it in, like even like another paintbrush and push it in like that. See, push it in. Oh, every nook and cranny. Turn it around, get some on this side, push it in, get some more, push it in, now make sure you got all, all the sides, I think I got them all, push it in, I think I got them all, alright. Voila, isn't that pretty? <laughs> Look at that, gorgeous, just gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, now we're gonna, a little bit messy, but guess what? That's what it's all about. Give her some water, not that much, just a little bit. Let's see if I can do it. Steady. Steady. Wait, I didn't even put nothing in there. Okay, that's good enough. There. All right, she's all done. Sorry, got my big hand in the way. So, she's all done. Isn't she cute? Look at that. She's so adorable. The little magnets in the back. And then you take it and you put it on your fridge. Now, I'm going to see the instructions. It says here, it says, you can, it says, miss plants with water once a week at a 90 angle, okay? making sure you're not misting directly from above. Okay, plants do not like to sit in a wet base. Now, I shouldn't have done that, but I did it anyways. Because <laughs> I don't have, a, I don't have a, a spray bottle. Okay, so let me see what else does it say. And are sensitive and to sitting moisture. Plants will begin to dull in color if they become overly dry. Okay. And it says light. Display in medium to bright indirect sunlight or artificial light. Temperature should be 50 to 90 F Fahrenheit, I guess. Keep away from air conditioners or heating vents. All right. 
this is gonna be on your fridge so it's so adorable i love it i just love it and you can make a whole bunch of these and they don't die if you take good care of it so that is it for today so if you liked this video give me a thumbs up and if you're new um hit the subscribe button and hit the first bell notification so you can um see more of my craft videos and all my subscribers if you want me to try uh craft um hit uh, put it in the description uh, description box put it in the comments below what craft you want me to try that's why it's called mary tries a craft okay i will choose during the week one of those crafts okay and i'll do a video on it all right and what else do i have here um oh and this craft was brought to you by um amanda for for marrow on pinterest okay if you want to uh check her out and all the materials i will put in the description box below um if you want to contact me um you can um email me on my email at my email i'll have it in the description box below um if you have any questions concerns put in the comments below um i think that's about it oh one more time let me I'll remind you if you want to participate participate <laughs> in the crochet um or knit the um hats for kids you got till um january the 10th okay my address is also in the description box below you can send the knitted hats or crochet hats you can uh, make any size from baby to kid size make sure you write the size on the bags and um if you don't know how to knit or crochet you can just send the yarn and we'll crochet the hats or knit the hats for you okay and if you want us to mention your name write a little note and we'll mention your name and if you don't want us to mention your name make sure you write it also in the notes okay so that is it for today um thank you for watching and um you stay crafting and stay safe i'll see you next time bye